Now we come to Vision Sunday. Of course, this is the Sunday that we designate every year at the beginning of the year to lay out some of the things that the Lord's put on our heart. We always ask the question, where are we as a church? And then we ask another question, where do we want to go or where do we believe the Lord is taking us? And I think the one thing that we have learned through the last 12 months, we've learned this, we can plan, we can strategize, we can try our very best to navigate the course, but we simply do not know what lies ahead. We must trust in the Lord our God. Now I want us to look at 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, and I want you to read that with me. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And I want you to underline that word overcometh. It's mentioned three times in verses 4 and verse number 5, and it is the theme word that God's placed upon my heart for 2021. Would you say that word with me? Overcome. I believe it's time for the church to regain its purpose. I believe it's time for the church to regain its calling. I believe it's time for the church to regain its courage. It's time for the church to regain its mission. It's time for the church to regain its strength and its passion. It's time for the church to rise up and overcome all the things that is set against us. That's what John is talking about here. He's talking about the life of an overcomer. He wants to remind them of the victory that they have in the Lord Jesus Christ. The victory that they have to overcome in this life. By virtue of that word alone, if you're going to overcome, then it means you must overcome something that has come up against you. The word overcome means to prevail. It means to conquer. It means to stand victorious. It means to rise up and get the victory in your life. Can I tell you what we've done in this generation and in our culture? We've allowed every other person in the world to tell us who we are. And I believe the church has almost forgotten its true identity. If you have forgotten, can I tell you that the Bible says that we are ambassadors and the adopted and the anointed of God. The Bible says that we are the bride, the building, the branch, the body, the brethren, and the blood-bought, born-again believers. The Bible says we are His children and His chosen and the citizens of a coming kingdom. The Bible says that we've been delivered, we're delighted, we are disciples, we are the dear children of God. We are the elect, we are the elders, we are the epistles of Christ. We are the flock of God and the friends of Christ fellow citizens of heaven, fellow servants of the kingdom of God and the first fruits of the resurrection. Don't get happy about it, but we're the godly and the glad. We are heirs of promise and heirs of the kingdom, holy brethren, a holy nation, a holy people, and the house of God. We are His instruments. We are incorruptible. We are His inheritance. We are the intercessors of God. We are jewels and join heirs and justified. We have jubilation and joy unspeakable and full of glory. We are His kings and His kindred, His keepers, His kingdom. We have the knowledge of God and the kindness of God. We are His light and His love and His life and the little lambs and the lively stones. We are men of God and military of God, the multitude of God and members of the body of Christ with the mind of God. We have the nature of God and the newness of God, and God has given us His name. We are obedient children. We are overcomers. We are the object of His affection. We are the ordained of the Lord. We are a peculiar people, pillars in the temple, purchased, pardoned, promised, and purified by the blood. We're a quickened people with a quickened spirit. We're a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. We've been ransomed and redeemed and renewed and restored and reconciled back to God. We are sheep and soldiers and stewards and sojourners and salt and seed and sons and simply sinners saved by His marvelous grace. We are treasures and truth bearers. We are transformed the tabernacle and the temple and the testifiers of God. 
We are undefiled, unashamed, unmovable, but undeserving and unworthy of all that he's done. Vessels of honor, vessels of mercy, valiant, victorious voices of virtue. We're his witnesses, his watchmen, his warriors, the wife of God's husbandmen. We're the well glory. We are ex-sinners and ex-criminals and ex-convicts and ex-transgressors who have had their sins etched out throughout all eternity. We are the zeal of the Lord, the zest of life, and our destination is the zenith of heaven. Can I tell you, child of God, we shall overcome. We shall overcome.